What's up traders, it's Nick here and welcome to another breakdown. As usual, I will be keeping it as educational as possible and also practical. So without further ado, let the intro roll and I will see you on the charts. The pair that I want to speak about into this video is GBP GPY. Now, why do I want to speak about GBP GPY? Because this pair is very near to providing to us a good trading opportunity. So I want to give you guys a full breakdown of the situation that we have to show you where we can be looking for the next potential opportunity. And as usual, I will be keeping this analysis as educational as possible. So first we will be speaking about the technical aspect of this market. We will then go and see what we have from an order flow perspective by checking the commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are doing in the market. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of our order flow analysis and our technical analysis, we will be able to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a nice opportunity on this pair. Now, Starting here from the monthly time frame, what do we have? Now here on the monthly, we can see how the market has just completed this W formation at the neckline and also created the continuation to the upside. Now, generally speaking, after the creation of a W, what you expect is exactly what just happened here. You expect the market to first complete the W formation exactly at the previous resistance turn support before providing the continuation to the upside. And in fact, we can see how that is exactly what the market just did here. The market first completed this W formation here at the neckline and currently we're providing the continuation to the upside. Now, generally speaking, after the creation of an impulse, what we expect is for the market to provide a correction. Specifically, we would like to see the market provide a correction at least to the 0.382 of the Fibonacci taken on the impulse leg. So here in the monthly time frame, what we can expect is for this market to provide a nice correction at least to this 0.382 of the Fibonacci taken from the low to the high of this monthly impulse. So here in the monthly, we do expect a correction. Going down on the weekly time frame, what do we have? Now here in the weekly, we can see how the market has just provided a nice impulse to the upside followed by this correction and currently the market is providing the continuation to the upside creating a higher high now if this weekly candle here in two days and 11 hours will actually close above this previous high then what will happen is that this previous resistance will be turned support because as you know in the market previous resistance once it is broken to the upside is turned support so if we will have a, co a completed and confirmed weekly close above this resistance this resistance will be turned support and after that what we can expect is for the market to retest this previous resistance turn support before providing a continuation to the upside so here in the weekly time frame everything is quite clear let's go down on the daily time frame and see what we have on the daily now if we go down on the daily what we can see is that first of all the market just completed the pattern that we wanted to see the market complete. In fact, we had spoken about GBP JPY after the creation of this M pattern. And from here, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we wanted to see the market provide a nice move to the upside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. And by the way, I will link this previous analysis in description so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. If you have any questions or requests for the next video, make sure you leave them down in the comment section. Also, make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe. But now, what we can also see is that the market has broken above the neckline of the M pattern, meaning that this area here, which was previous support, turn resistance, now that the market has broken again above the zone is again turned support and the market has basically created a new impulse. Now, as I have already explained previously, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And if we do that, what we can see, we can see that this area here, which is now again support, as we have already identified, is lining up perfectly with the 0.382 and 50% of the Fibonacci's taken on the impulse, meaning that this area at the moment is a quite strong confluence of supported zone that we can expect this market to go and test before a potential continuation to the upside. 
Now, if we go and see what we have from a COT perspective, so commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are doing in the market, so what the non-commercials are doing in the market, what we can see is that with the last reports, net positions have been decreasing on the pound. In fact, we went from having 36k net positions all the way down to having 21k net positions with shorts getting increased with the last report from 26 to 30k and longs getting decreased from 68 all the way down to 51k. So overall on the pound, the positioning is shifting to the negative side and the pound is getting quite weak. And in fact, what we can expect here is for this market to actually provide this correction that we would like to see before the potential continuation to the upside. However, if you're asking yourself, okay, but if we have a, a weak pound, why are we seeing this continuation to the upside? Well, the answer is very simple. If we go and see what we have on the JPY, we can see an incredibly strong drop in the net positions from an institutional perspective, going from 50K positive all the way down to minus 50K. So from positive to negative net position, the net positions with a shift of almost a, actually a shift of over 100K. So incredible shift from the positive to the negative side of the JPY with currently 81K shorts from an institutional perspective and only 27K lungs. And that is why obviously GB, GBP JPY has been creating this massive move to the upside. Now, since we have a situation like this, so extremely weak JPY and strong, sorry, and weak pound, but we know that also in the pound, the shift in the long term has been in the positive side. Why do I say this? Because if you look at the long term, even though here, yes, we do see some short term decrease of the net positions, which by the way, is exactly what we need if we are to be looking for this correction. In the long term, we can see how we went from negative to positive net positions, meaning that we went from having more shorts than longs from an institutional perspective with 47K shorts and 27K longs, all the way up to having a positive net positioning of 51K longs and 30K shorts. So the pound is actually getting quite strong. And in a situation like this, if the market will provide a correction to this area, we can definitely be looking for a potential continuation to the upside. So how we will be approaching this potential longing opportunity here on GBPGPY with students. Now, as usual, we will be reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data are the best timeframes for the directional aspect of the market. But when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best timeframes are the four hour and the other intraday timeframes. So if the market will provide a correction back inside of this area, Inside of here, what we will be doing with students is monitoring price action from a four hour perspective and lower. And we will be waiting for the market to shift from a four hour bearish market as we will have to a four hour and lower bullish market. And as soon as the market will shift from a bearish to a bullish market at that point, we will be adding GBP, GPY to our watch list with students. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice long with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities at that point for the move to the upside and for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside and for the market to provide a higher high. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education analysis and updates for all of you. You can also let me know in the comment section below any pair that you would like me to break down in the next videos. And I will also leave a link to the mentorship program in the description. It's a very complete program. First, you get all the rules of my rule-based strategies, and then you trade them live with me each and every day. I give you a new daily market breakdown showing you how to apply the strategies with the entries, stops, and take profit as well as answering any question that you have every single day. So it's a very complete program. I really suggest that you go and check it out and I will see you in it.